What's up team? Welcome to Kettlebell Athlete Full Body Workout. Today we're going to be doing everything. We're going to be hitting up your legs, your upper body. We're going to get a good sweat in. We're going to start off with your CNS prep. After your CNS prep, we're going to get into some power work. After your power work, we're going to get into some strength work and we're going to finish up with some conditioning work with a 12 minute EMOM. Okay? For the first part of the workout, you're going to be doing your CNS prep, which will consist of uh, hand release push ups followed by a shuffle. Okay? We're going to get right into that and then I'll explain as we go the rest of the movements. Okay? To start off, we're going to use your time clock here. We're going to be doing 10 seconds of work with a 20 second break. But in those 10 seconds, I want you to work fast and explosive, all right? Because we want to get that heart rate up. We want to get you even warmer than you already are. So let's get it going. Starting off on the ground, I'm going to get here. I'm going to start my timer doing 10 seconds of hand release push ups, okay? So going here, time is going. All right, let's go down, explode. All right. From here, we're gonna go into your shuffle, okay? But what I wanna see on the shuffle is I wanna see a little bit of hip movement here. So just not forward and back. We're gonna turn those hips a little bit. And three, two, one. All right, that was 10 seconds. We're gonna go back down to the ground for your hand release push-ups. All right. In three, two, one. All right, we have one more round of those shuffles. Remember on the shuffles, I did them a little bit slow on my last set. For this one, we're gonna move a little bit faster, okay? Take a little break, shake it out. All right, let's go. All right, so that concludes your CNS prep. Remember, two rounds of each movement. 10 seconds of work, 20 second break, moving fast and explosive. From there, we're gonna move into our next part of the workout. For our power work today, we're gonna be doing squat jumps, but we're gonna throw in the kettlebell. So what you're gonna do here is you'll have your kettlebell, move this stopwatch out of the way, you'll be holding that bell here. We're gonna be squatting, jumping up, catching, resetting. We're gonna be doing that for six reps, okay? What I want to see here is I want you to jump up as high as you can, okay? And then I want you to reset after each rep so we get full power. All right. And then the clock obviously is going to be going. You have a minute and a half to complete just six reps, but I want to see six powerful reps, okay? The remainder of that minute and a half is going to be your break. So let me get this timer going and let's get ready, team, in three, two, one. All right, squat, jump up, catch, reset. Two, three, four, five, six. All right, guys, that took me. 30 seconds to complete, so I got a minute break. One of the things that I want to see on the squat jumps is, like I explained earlier, I want you to reset. So you'll land it, stand up, get back into that squat position before you jump up, okay? Six reps, might seem like it's a little bit of, bit of reps, but if you do them fa strong, fast, and explosive, you'll get the burn. As you can tell by me, my heart rate's already coming up. All right. Remember the setup for your bell. Have that bell in between your feet. Once you set up, grab that bell here. I want everyone to stand up. We have 10 seconds 
So let's get into the squat position right there. In five, four, three, two, one. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. One more. Six. All right. Let's put that bell down. Whew. So, as you can tell, I'm resetting each time. The thing that I don't want to see, that I see in a lot of workouts and stuff like that, is when people are just jumping up and down, jumping up and down. And those are like more like half squats, not really fully, fully exploding. That's why I'm really cueing on you. Getting that squat, driving from those feet up, exploding up, catching and resetting. So each rep is very explosive and you're not just cruising through them, okay? Take a little bit of a breather. We have 20 seconds left. I'm gonna start setting up. Remember that bell goes in between my feet. Grab that top of the bell. We have 10 seconds, so I'm gonna just go ahead and stand up. Get into that squat position. In three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, one more rep, six, all right. So as you guys saw, that didn't take me that long to complete, but I was resetting on each rep. I know I keep emphasizing reset, 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 but it's because I want you to get the most out of every rep. All right, team, let's wrap up those reps. If you haven't already, you have about 50 seconds. But in the meantime, I'm gonna explain what, you, what everyone's gonna be going in through next. We're gonna be doing your strength part. For your strength part, you're gonna be doing a reverse lunge into a rotational push press. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and demo while we wait. Remember, picking up your kettlebells just as important as you saw, I was probably just gonna just lift it because it's a little bit light for me, but make sure you clean those bells off the ground, have a nice strong rack position, and for this strength part, so we're gonna be doing a reverse lunge. Come up, rotational press, step back. Coming right back up. So we're gonna be doing eight reps on each side, okay? We're gonna be moving nice and strong. You have two minutes to complete those eight reps on each side. It's gonna be some work, so get your mind right and let's get it. Whew. Timer's going in five, four, three, two, one. All right. Let's have fun now. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Got six more to go. Eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, one more, 
All right. Whew. Took me a little bit longer than I was expecting. <laughs> Took me a minute 25, so my break's a little bit shorter. I have 35 seconds to get ready for my next set. So I normally like counting my reps. This is next round. I'll take a little breather. I'm gonna mentally count my reps, but I'll call them out after eight and after I do 16. Woo! Oh man, 10 seconds left. We gotta get into that next set. All right, let's go. Eight. Fifty seconds left. I got done a little bit faster, saving my breath on those counts. But as you can tell, I'm working. I'm breathing loud. Sound like a real gorilla I'm making those grunting noises. But I assure you, if you do these right, you're gonna get a full body burn. One of the cues that I also want to make when you're doing that rotational press, make sure you're pressing straight up, not Throwing that bell out there. Stack those shoulders. Keep those ribs down. Bring it right back down. Turn that foot like you're putting out a cigarette bud. Not that I recommend smoking, but if you saw one on the road, something just put that thing out. All right? All right, third set. Let's go. Oh man, minute left on my break. And we're done with this strength bar. As you see, I'm not trying to look pretty on camera and act like this stuff's not phasing me, because it is. I'm working hard right now and I hope you are too. Whew. All right, so shake those shoulders out. The way those presses are getting you. Move around, keep that blood flowing. 30 seconds left. Focus on your breathing for that last set. Ten seconds left. If it looks like I'm crying, it's not tears, it's sweat, but that's what I want to say. All right, let's go. One. Two. Three. Let's get it. Four. Five. Six. 
seven, eight. Halfway done, team. Let's wrap it up. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, one more, 16, and about a, a minute left, I think it's raining outside, or it's just my sweat coming down, but I'm working, All right, team, we're going to wrap our session up. With the last part, we're gonna be doing a 12 minute EMOM for conditioning. All right, team, for the 12 minute EMOM, we're gonna be mixing body weight and kettlebells. For the first movement, you're gonna be doing a lateral jump. So I'm gonna step back a little bit behind the kettlebells. I'm gonna start off here on my left side. I'm gonna jump to the side, catch. Jump to the side, catch. We're gonna be doing five reps on each side. After we do five reps on each side, we're gonna be doing double kettlebell high pulls, okay? On these, I want you to clean them up, clean up those kettlebells, and then we're gonna throw them out into a high pull. So you go here, pull them up, pull them up, pull them up. All right, so you're gonna be doing 10 reps there. After you do 10 reps there, we're gonna be going into your presses. We're gonna be doing an alternating press. On these presses, here, you are staying in that nice strong rack position. Get a press up, bring it down, changing sides, changing sides. All right, we'll be doing five reps on each arm for a total of 10 reps. And the last one for this, this uh, movement, you're gonna have your arms out. You're gonna be doing an arm, arm screw. So you're gonna lift that shoulder up, Turn it, reach, come to center, reach that shoulder up, turn over, reach. We're gonna be doing five reps on each side, 10 total. So to keep it easy on you, it's 10 reps per movement. You have one minute to complete each exercise. So you're not doing four movements in one minute, you're doing one movement per minute. So if it takes you 20 seconds to complete, you have 40 second break, okay? You at least wanna shoot to the, for that uh, work to rest ratio to be even. So 30 seconds of work, 30 second break. If it's taking you a little bit longer, we're on the 45, 40, you can go ahead and drop reps so you get through the whole workout. But like I said, 12 minute EMOM, four moves, three rounds each. Let's get that timer started in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. All right. Got your lateral jumps. I'm gonna start out here on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. 40 seconds left on my break. As you saw there, I was moving slow and controlled. If you wanna move fast and explosive, let's get it, you know, on your next round. For the next movement, we have your high pulls. Make sure when you're doing those high pulls, you're bringing those kettlebells up, you're bringing up to that face level, and those elbows are nice and strong like you're making a T with the elbows in your spine, okay? I'm gonna get these kettlebells up and rack here in the next five seconds so we get ready for our high pulls. All right, in three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. So if you don't feel comfortable doing the high pulls with two kettlebells, you can do it just with one kettlebell. Save movement, do five reps on one side, and then five reps on the other, so you still get your 10 total reps. If you wanna kick it up a notch, you can do 10 reps on each arm. You'll still have plenty of time because this is a faster movement that you kind of roll through. 
For the next part, you have your alternating presses, okay? If your shoulders aren't burning after what we just did in the strength part, then they're definitely gonna be burning now. So let's get those kettlebells up. Alternating press. All right, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. So one of the things that I'm looking for on those presses is to make sure that elbow is holding that rack nice and strong when you have those bells up and you're driving from that elbow and then stacking those shoulders, keep those ribs down, hips tucked in as much as possible. You have a strong line. For the next movement, we're gonna be moving into your shoulder rolls. You're gonna have your arms out here. You're gonna lift that shoulder up, turn towards that other hand. We're gonna be doing five on each side. That's one, lift up, reach, that's two. Reach up, reach, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, 10. All right, guys, shake it out. So those took me roughly about 35 seconds. As you see, they're taking me a little bit longer than my kettlebell and body weight movements because I'm really taking my time trying to get the most out of that movement as well. Since I know they look easy, but for someone with all this, with my mass, it's really challenging, believe it or not. So let's go for next part, lateral jumps. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. So, if you want to make those a little bit more challenging for you, for yourself, try to jump a little bit further. Try to move a little bit faster, but make sure you own that landing. Okay? Don't just hop back and forth. You know, landing mechanics are just as important as takeoff mechanics. So, own those jumps jump strong, move fast, all right? And up your reps if you need to. If 10 reps is too little for you, throw it up to 20. You'll just knock those out fairly strong. So 10 seconds, we got our high pulls next. I'm gonna get these bells up. All right, let's go. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. So, like I explained earlier, the last round, with two kettlebells, a little bit too challenging for you to throw the kettlebells between your legs or own that movement. Just grab one kettlebell, grab it here, same thing here, swing it. Just do five to 10 reps on one side and then five to 10 reps on the other. All right. We got our alternating presses next. Let's get those kettlebells up. So we have five seconds left on our break. All right, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Going back to those arm screws. Then we're doing a lot of shoulder work. Okay. We did those rotational presses. Now we're doing those alternating uh, presses as well. It's a lot of shoulder work. So make sure 
to roll those shoulders to get them feeling nice and strong so they're not super stiff and you're looking like this the whole time okay we're gonna pull those shoulders back get into our position here all right lift that shoulder up roll it reach come to center reach that shoulder up roll it over reach two three four five six seven eight nine ten all right shake those shoulders out move those arms around we have one more round team and we're done with today's workout but we still have your lateral jumps. Make these lateral jumps the best jumps you've had. I'm gonna try to move a little bit stronger on these. So let's get ready, because you have five seconds left. In three, two, one. That was 10 reps there. Let's move a little bit faster. It took me roughly 15 seconds to do. Like I said, if you're moving through them 15 seconds, add an extra 10. That'll get you that 30 second work part because you had 30 second break. Okay, so don't be afraid to go up in reps. If those are a little bit challenging for you. Don't be afraid to drop your reps by a couple or even a few, depending on what makes you feel good. Just make sure you're doing the best for what's for your body is you know acceptable. Don't try to challenge yourself too hard. Or don't try to take it too easy on you. All right. Got your high pulls next. Here in five seconds. Get those kettlebells up. All right, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. All right. Finish your reps out. If you need to take a break in between them, it's perfectly fine. If you want to up your reps, up your reps. This is your workout. As you can tell, I'm already sweating. There hasn't been any of these kettlebell athlete workouts that I'm not like drenched in sweat. So I promise you, if you do all these workouts with lightweight or heavy weight, whatever weight feels comfortable, if you execute the movements right, you're gonna get a hell of a good sweat. All right, clean these bells up. We got your alternating presses. I'm gonna slow it down a little bit, make it more challenging for myself. All right, let's go. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, ten. All right, those got about 10, 15% harder just by me slowing it down with a weight that I'm comfortably pressing. Besides, uh, unless you saw me the way I was struggling the strength part. But for this part, like I said, it's an easier movement for myself. So slowing it down made it more of a challenge. Oh, talking too much. I get those arm screws. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, ten. All right, team. So wrap up those reps. 
But that concludes the full body workout for kettlebell athlete. Like I said, I promise you, if you focus on quality reps, it doesn't matter if you're doing heavyweight or lightweight, you'll make the workout hella more challenging for yourself. So let's keep at it. And thank you for tuning in team.